So this is the iPhone 5S. Um, it's the most forward-looking smartphone in the world. It's full of breakthrough technologies, uh, engineered into this beautifully crafted thin and light metal design. I'm going to show you three quick features. The first one is actually uh, the camera mode called burst mode. This would be ideal for taking action sequences or um, for a group shot. If I hold down the camera, it's very simple to hold down and use the shutter icon. It will continuously capture hundreds of photos and then you have real-time uh, image analysis which will look at those, thing, at those photographs and look at things like smiling, blinking, whether people are looking at the camera, how sharp the photographs are and offer you either an individual photograph or a selection of photographs that you can choose from or of course if you don't like them then you can delete them and they, they won't count towards your, your photo stream for example. We also have um, another camera feature called slow-mo. So if I go into camera and choose slow-mo, this is a video feature that allows you to capture at 120 frames per second. Um, and once you've captured your video at 120 frames per second in 720p, and I show you a video, so let's choose this video that I've taken in slow-mo mode. You can see that I can choose the portion of the actual video that I want to be in slow-mo. So let's extend the slow-mo, make it a little bit longer. And now when I run this video, you see it starts just as the guy jumps in the pool and extends even further now beyond the few lands in the pool. It's a really, really nice way of eventually going back into real time. So a very nice feature. The last feature I want to show you is Touch ID. Uh, Touch ID was inspired by the idea that although it's very good to have a secure passcode, um, at the same time, that doesn't mean that you have to uh, input your passcode dozens of times a day if you want to be secure on your phone. Well, now you can use your fingerprint as the way of accessing your and unlocking your phone. We've actually uh, put um, a fingerprint scanner inside the home button. Uh, it's full of advanced technologies. It allows 360 degree readability and it allows you to not only unlock your phone but also to approve purchases on the iTunes store, the App Store or the iBook store. Let me show you how it works. So if I have this phone here, if I use my thumb to try and unlock it, because it's not registered, it will tell me to try again. If I have my fingertip here, my index finger, because that is registered, it will allow me to access the phone. And it's very easy and simple to um, input a fingerprint. If I go in here and add a fingerprint, I'm going to use my thumb this time. I'm going to tap this home button and capture data from the sensor. You can see it will fill up with red lines as it's capturing my finger. It will direct me if it needs more information. It will tell me to keep my finger on the sensor or move it around. Now it wants me to adjust my grip so it can build a wider pattern because of course you don't always touch your home button full on so it wants to have a partial fingerprint. Now I have success. I can go to my home screen and lock the phone and now when I try and open it using my thumb and that data is securely captured inside the secure enclave. It's ruled off from the rest of the A7 processor and also from iOS.